in the small, isolated town of Skinnamarink, nestled deep within the ominous shadows of an ancient forest, a chilling tale unfolded that would forever haunt the residents. The townsfolk spoke in hushed whispers about a mysterious film that had found its way into their community, bearing the ominous title Scanamarink. Legend had it that the film was cursed, a malevolent force that invoked unspeakable horrors upon anyone who dared to watch it. The opening scene, shrouded in darkness, revealed a derelict mansion at the edge of the town and eerie reflection of Skin America itself, the protagonist, a curious young woman named Elara, stumbled upon the film while exploring her grandmother's attic. Intrigued by the forbidden nature of the real, she decided to delve into its mysteries, unknowingly unleashing a supernatural force that would alter the fabric of reality. As Elara watched the film, the line between fiction and reality blurred. Strange occurrences plagued Skinnamarink. Disembodied whispers echoed through the streets at night, and shadowy figures lurked in the corners of every room. The one tranquil town transformed into a nightmare realm, where the laws of physics bent to the will of the cursed film. Elara, tormented by vivid nightmares and inexplicable visions, sought the help of a reclusive historian named Dr. Thorne. With a deep knowledge of Skinner Inc.'s dark past, Dr. Thorne revealed that the film was a vessel for an ancient entity, a malevolent force that fed on the fear and despair of the townspeople. Together, Elara and Dr. Thorne delved into the town's archives, unearthing a centuries-old pact made with a supernatural entity, the pact, forgotten by time, bound the town to another worldly force, and the cursed film served as a catalyst for its awakening. As the duo raced against time to break the curse, the boundaries between the real world and the film's nightmarish realm began to collapse. Skinnamarink became a nightmarish labyrinth where the laws of reality crumbled and monstrous entities roamed freely. Elara and Dr. Thorne discovered a ritual that could sever the town's connection to the malevolent force. However, the ritual demanded a sacrifice the person who had first unleashed the curse, Alara, torn between saving the town and her own life, grappled with the moral dilemma in a climactic confrontation within the decaying mansion. Depicted in the cursed film, Alara faced the entity that had tormented Skinnamarink. As the ritual unfolded, reality itself seemed to fracture, and the fabric of the town hung in the balance. In a final act of selflessness, Alara sacrificed herself, severing the town's ties to the malevolent force. The cursed film disintegrated, and the shadows that had plagued Skinnamarink receded. The once cursed town now free from the ancient pact, began to heal. Yet, as the sun rose over Skinnamarink, a subtle whisper lingered in the wind that townsfolk couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent force still lurked in the shadows, awaiting the opportune moment to reclaim what was once its own. The legend of Skinnamarink lived on, a cautionary tale for those who dared to unearth the secrets buried in the dark corners of their history. The aftermath of Alara's sacrifice left Skinnamarink in a state of eerie tranquility. The once haunted town seemed to exhale a collective sigh of relief as the shadows receded, and the malevolent force retreated to the depths of the forgotten. The townspeople, still haunted by the memories of the cursed film, began to rebuild their lives, yet beneath the surface an unsettling tension lingered. The forest surrounding Skinnamarink 
once teeming with life, now bore the scars of the supernatural ordeal. Twisted branches reach towards the sky like gnarled fingers, and the air carried a faint whisper vestige of the entity that had so long tormented the town. As the seasons changed, so did the atmosphere in Skinamarink. Dr. Thorne, burdened by the weight of the knowledge he carried, became increasingly reclusive. He delved deeper into the town's history, uncovering hidden secrets and ancient prophecies that hinted at a cyclical nature to the town's torment. Meanwhile, Alara's sacrifice had not gone unnoticed. In the ethereal realm where time flowed differently, she found herself trapped in a liminal space between life and death. The malevolent force, weakened but not defeated, sought to reclaim its lost power. Elara, now a spectral presence, became the reluctant guardian of Skinamarink. Her connection to the entity serving as an anchor that prevented its resurgence. The townspeople, oblivious to the ongoing struggle in the supernatural realm, celebrated their newfound freedom. The scars of the curse faded and a sense of normalcy returned to Skinamarink. However, an undercurrent of unease persisted a collective awareness that the town's peace was fragile, built on the sacrifice of one brave soul. As Dr. Thorne continued his research, he stumbled upon an ancient tome that detailed the cyclical nature of the curse. Every few decades, the malevolent force would awaken, seeking to reclaim Skinamarink and plunge it back into darkness. The ritual Elara had performed was a temporary solution, a respite rather than a permanent remedy. Determined to break the cycle, Dr. Thorne embarked on a quest to gather the knowledge and artifacts necessary to confront the entity once and for all. He sought out the guidance of mystics, consulted ancient texts, and traversed the eerie landscape surrounding Skinamarink in search of hidden truths in the ethereal realm. Elara sensed the growing threat and reached out to Dr. Thorne through cryptic dreams and visions. The two forged a tenuous connection, bridging a gap between the living and the spectral. Together, they pieced together the fragments of a forgotten prophecy that hinted at a ritual capable of banishing the malevolent force permanently. The townspeople, oblivious to the escalating supernatural conflict, began to notice strange occurrences once again. Whispers returned and shadows flickered at the edges of their vision. As the malevolent force gathered strength, its influence seeped into the waking world unsettling the delicate balance that Elara's sacrifice had temporarily restored. The climax of the tale approached as Dr. Thorne, armed with newfound knowledge and guided by Elara's spectral presence, prepared for a final confrontation with the malevolent force. The town of Skinamarink stood at the crossroads of destiny, its fate hanging in the balance as the struggle between the living and the supernatural reached its zenith. <laughs>